eight children. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Marianne Williamson, A Return to Love The Dawn When the moon lies in the seventh house and earth aligns with the stars, then peace will guide this planet and love will guide our hearts. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. The above stanza is adapted from a Broadway musical which I had the good fortune to see at the age of 13. The live performance of Hair in 1967 was sold out in theatres in the United States for nearly 20 years. It was a major hit in the 1970s because the play and the amazing theme song resonated with a subconscious truth. At the time, I wondered what the new age hype was about. Now, I understand. We are evolving into a new form as we leave the age of Pisces and dawn into the age of Aquarius. We are entering into the age of energy. The new age. Children today, in their natural state, are progressively more sensitive, in tune with a broader spectrum of energy wavelengths reaching them. They are connected to a greater reality. They know instinctively that they are a soul having a human experience that they are much more than the physical body. If you observe the unbiased news online about children and teenagers these days, you will see how children and young adults are contributing to collective evolution in astounding ways. You will notice the level of consciousness and sense of purpose guiding their priorities. Young children are speaking out on complex social issues like never before. The most recent super psychic children are truly remarkable. Some of them are under scientific scrutiny in Mexico, China and Russia. The super psychics of China have been recognized and nurtured by their government for the last 25 years. The authors of a book, China's Super Psychics, state that millions of dollars have been spent researching EHF or extra human function in these children. Schools and research centers are widespread throughout the country. By 1997, a hundred thousand of these children had been recognized. No research has revealed the numbers at present, but it is clear the numbers are increasing rapidly. These children can move objects with the mind, 
telekinesis can see and read in detail when blindfolded describe a place and a room in detail from across the globe can physically write on paper without a pencil and can miraculously heal others even at a distance they can interdimensionally travel manifest thought heal with intention and affect the weather at will they are clearly of another origin than most human beings many of the star children have been reported to have multiple viewing screens in the head which shows them what is happening in different locations and time space realities the star children are not of human origins but are hybrids from other realms coming to earth they have a mission to save this planet from the trajectory of self-destruction which humans have degenerated into in this book i will introduce the first genres of new age children because they are now coming into the majority the next genres these star children and advanced beings of light are here but are still relatively few in numbers the indigo crystal and rainbow children are mostly evolved ancient souls which once lived on earth as well as in other planetary systems they have innovative ideas which defy their biological age and extend well beyond experience in just one time and space when they understand who they are and why they are here they begin to access multi-dimensional soul abilities they are often outcasted misunderstood or ridiculed in the 3D reality. When we look at human progress in consciousness, in the beginning stages of consciousness, we are completely unconscious of our actions and their harmful or beneficial effects. We identify consciousness with physical needs, survival and reproductive instincts. An emerging consciousness focuses energy on a biological family and offspring as part of the basic reproduction and survival instinct. Fear of death, disaster, disease and loss in this stage is greatest. Consciousness is trapped in the body due to the belief system I am the body as modern humans become increasingly conscious of the mental and emotional aspects of being consciousness expands the emotional body and aura are taken into account we realize that thoughts, emotion and compassionate action can affect our health, our life as well as all of life. We learn to focus and direct our thought and emotions. We realize that thoughts matter because they create matter we awaken to I am not only the body 
but an energy being as well. As new age enlightened beings, we gain knowledge and ability to access the soul realms. We are becoming super conscious of our inextricable connection with one another and with nature. We gain understanding by journeying into soul realms and speaking to different aspects of consciousness. We realize I am not this body. I am not these bones. But the eternal soul dwelling within. Welcome to the super conscious world of the indigo, crystal and rainbow children. These titles simply represent levels of self-realization as spirit. They also represent the vibration, the ray of light which is guiding, communicating directly with these souls. These categories are documented by new age psychologists, gurus, yogis, psychics and metaphysicians worldwide. Titles and names simply represent guidelines for understanding the nature of the phenomenon. The what isn't as important as the why. The what is always changing and the why provides answers for our future. The purpose. Do not think of yourself as the body, but as the joyous consciousness and immortal life behind it. A saint is a sinner who never gave up. Paramahansa Yogananda Autobiography of a Yogi The purpose is to evolve the planet into higher dimensions of thought and intention by providing the wavelengths of light required to rapidly evolve the human soul. The purpose is to walk through the heart into the next dimension. As we evolve, we move from old energies of fear, greed, corruption, competition and stress into the new energies of love, generosity, integrity, cooperation and ease. The common purpose is to shift the energies of the earth into the light of positive intention. In the new age, the heart will surpass the mind as our ruler. The heart has the wisdom, the vision and the connection. The mind is a practical tool for strategizing and planning. The body is a vehicle for healing the inner self and taking action. We are learning to relegate the tool of the competitive, judgmental, goal-oriented mind to obey the wise, accepting, meaning-oriented heart. The situation on earth may appear bleak at the moment. 
but it is just an extreme darkness like the twilight which challenges the dawn it is the extreme pain before the rebirth the purpose of every soul in the coming age of energy is to serve the heart higher consciousness peace and the greater will in a hypnotic regression session in 2014 the light of another realm spoke the light speaking through the client relayed the following it's through the forms that more of the formless is created the core the seed of the entire creation is love from there everything else is formed we come as forms to create more of the formless the core creates more of itself that way the only purpose of any form across all dimensions is to create more of that love more of the formless that's the only purpose and having fun in the process the soul and soul purpose is to expand and make more of that core suffering is not required to fulfill that purpose suffering is a way of knowing if there was no contrast no opposite there would be no wanting for something different and no more creation it's the polarity which many need in order to focus on what to create more of to feel like that rainbow space is the only purpose there is no destination joy is the creating emotion to more love when you feel joy is when you can create whatever it is you want to create which will be love and of service those that remember that all you have to do is feel joy and create more love are free many choose to create via contrast the darker energy and feel miserable it's a choice to feel dark and sad when we feel like a rainbow like flowers is when we are in our creator energy that's the energy that creates worlds in a dream I was shown three golden infinity symbols a voice said place them in your heart and walk to them into the fifth dimension live life from the heart this is the purpose